We're all on Facebook, and that means we've by now for sure all been exposed to fake catfish profiles. They're out there. But how can we better identify and avoid these profiles? I've got a full video breakdown of a conversation and a profile giving you all the lowdown coming up next. What's good everyone, Mario here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Facebook and its catfish profiles. How do I identify and avoid those catfish experiences of interacting and wasting your time and energy and sometimes getting your hopes up for fake profiles, people pretending to be profiles of people that they're not. So what I wanna share with you is a breakdown of a conversation I had a few years back that I shared with a group of mine, and now I wanna share it with you all on YouTube, uh, but it's a fantastic example of a catfish and the manipulation efforts that this person was trying to have in the conversation and all the clues that were there in the profile and in the conversation that you can use to identify and effectively make a good decision to identify them appropriately. Because I don't wanna give you stupid advice where you jump to conclusions. Conclusions. I want to give you a logical sort of structure how to identify them so you feel very confident you've got clusters of clues that are like yeah you're 99% right this is going to be a catfish and you just need to stop wasting your time energy and definitely guys don't get your hopes up because these people will be fake. So we're gonna give you a full breakdown. But first, let me remind you that if you're not fully satisfied with your current dating or your online dating experiences, I invite you to join one or hopefully both of my online academies. Both of them send out free weekly videos that are designed to help you level up your dating game. And sign up is super easy, take seconds. You can do so by clicking the link in the description or the card for this video. So without further ado, I give you a full video breakdown of a conversation and a profile so that you can understand how to identify and avoid fake catfish profiles on Facebook. All right, so welcome to my Facebook inbox. What I'm gonna do is give you insight into this conversation that took place from this catfish profile and to give you a little background i'm a dating coach i get a lot of interest or you know connections uh on my end or coming to me from fake profiles but you know what i don't necessarily like shy away from them because those are probably people who need my help so i'm not a, not exactly trying to push them away um but at the same time if you're gonna bullshit me i don't appreciate that nor do i really engage catfish profiles as if i'm going to entertain it like it's real so as you can see um, Tuesday, this uh, catfish profile messaged me, hi, and I didn't respond. Hello, no response. Hi again, no response. Then again, three hours later, it's like two L's or two I's, I'm not sure. But again, no response because I know it's a fake profile and it's not even adding value. It's not even saying something interesting um, to me. Then Thursday, yesterday, she messages me, hi. This morning, again, another hi. So finally, I'm like, okay, let's fucking just have this out. Let's just say this. Um, so I do message her and I say, so what made you des decide to start a catfish profile? I'm a dating coach and smarter than most. Please don't attempt to lie to me. I do this for a living. And I say that because I've had this conversation before and I know how it goes. People play stupid about like, what's a catfish? What, what do you mean fake profile? And I'm like, come on, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Um, so I tried to be preemptive and just say, hey, if you want a chance for me to say anything constructive with you, then don't bullshit me. Okay, because for me, that's like, it's so insulting. Um, so of course, predictably, she responds with, what did you mean? Now, let's be real. Did she not understand what a catfish profile is? Of course she did. Um, or whoever this person is. Um, so it's not a surprise. So I said, bye. I don't, I told you, I don't play with your, play stupid with your fake profile. And that's true. Like, you know, like, why do I need to dumb myself down? Like, it's clear you have a fake profile to me. Um, I did like 10 seconds of research on her before I, you know, made sure that I assessed her as a catfish, but I felt confident in it. So I said, I don't play stupid. Um, of course, this was meant with, uh, met with something very defensive, and that's something that I want you to pay attention to. They either get defensive, they play stupid, or they go on the attack and try and make you feel stupid. A lot of the guys fall for it too because they're like, oh my god, I just upset like a really pretty girl. I just totally blew it. I'm sorry, it's just that, you know, like, there are a lot of fake profiles. I don't know if, you know, I just didn't... And they start defending themselves because they don't want to lose the connection. They don't want to lose attention which is coming from a fake profile still, but they now are in denial. So remember, to me, it takes two to lie. So she says, fuck off. So I respond with, see, you do understand, because she does, uh, getting upset at me like I'm the one with issues like a fake profile. You know, like, is that me being an ass? 
slightly, but I'm also just telling the truth. Like, that's not really me, like, assessing judgment other than saying that, yeah, you're actually, you're just upset because, you know, like, um, you're, you're, that you have the fake profile and it's true. And you don't like how it feels inside your thoughts when I remind you how pathetic your actions are. And excuse me, but having a catfish profile is pathetic. You know, like, I'm not saying you're a horrible person, but I can't sugarcoat it either. That is a pathetic action. So, that is the that is the conversation and that's actually pretty helpful because a lot of you guys out there and sometimes you girls this is you i want you to understand that this attack or this defensiveness or this playing stupid is very much the approach of a catfish profile so next what i want to do is show you the profile all the clues that i actually saw that led up to this Okay, so now let's take a look at her profile because it literally took me 10 seconds to assess her as a catfish profile. What did I do? Well, the very first thing that stuck out was, was like, really? You went to Harvard University? Okay. Um, you know, like, it's possible, but then you also have, oh, by the way, also studied law at New York University, which is, let's, I mean, come on, like, somebody's embellishing, and I don't even know, like, how you can find a Harvard Westlake, apparently this is a middle school, actually, I used to live in Studio City, too, so I know those stomping grounds, and, um, I think she actually just put this probably looking back at it because it said Harvard, but the irony is that, that I've lived in Studio City, I've lived in Los Angeles, and I'm currently in Washington, D.C., so it would have been funny if I had, you know, gone to the approach of, like, um, so tell me about where you live, and, you know, I would have known everything about the areas. Now, once I saw the Harvard, it was basically, like, 90% done that I knew it was a fake profile, but then the very next thing that I would recommend doing is check out the picture. You have to understand, like, as a guy, like, you don't get pretty girls messaging you, um, you know, uh, from them, you know, like it one sided that they're opening you. That is rare. Now, even for me, I get that from time to time from attractive women. I do, I'll be honest. However, <clears throat> I'm skeptical, you know, because I know I'm smart, you know, it happens to me, but most people it doesn't happen to. Like, I have a background as a bodybuilder and my face is out there a lot, and sometimes my body is too in pictures. But, so I've, I've gotten these messages, it's probably more normal for me to get messages, opening messages from pretty women, but it's still an exception. So when it's an exception, you got to be smart. So let's click on her profile pic and see what's offered there because it's very suspicious when a pretty girl messages you, especially when she appears way out of your league, guys, okay? So let's look at the picture. All right, so the picture, you know, like we can't really see the face well, but the big thing that I want you to see is the number of likes, which is 11, and then the comments. The comments are all going to be jocking her from men. So, you know, like that is saying something right there, okay? The next thing that we want to pay attention to is this. Number two, there are only two profile pictures. Now, what female do you know that only has two profile pictures? Not possible. Women take two pictures for their profile in like 30 minutes, okay? So that's not possible. And then the pictures aren't great quality. Look at this quality. Girls don't take picture like pic pictures like this and post them. You know what happens though? Catfish profiles, they only have access to certain pictures, so they don't have like an, un an endless amount of pictures to select from. And you know, like if, if you got, you know, if you posted this a month ago or, or a month and a half ago and you got six likes, oh, that's suspicious too. All right, but let's get out of this and that was another clue. So now, let's take a look at a very important section. Let's look at the friends. So, thing that I want to pop out is a pretty girl, it's impossible to, for her to have 139 Facebook friends. Impossible, okay? Now, if that wasn't enough, let's take a look at the kind of friends that she has. And what you should expect is to see a profile filled with a whole bunch of dudes and a whole bunch of guys that honestly look like they would fall for a catfish or want to and you know embrace a catfish account so let's take a look and see how right i am all right so so far we got creepy guy alert a lot of guys more guys scary looking guys creepy guys um weird creepy creepy i mean like you see the quality of the guys that i'm talking about right and there i am uh, look at me so, um, let's see who else we have here. These are just creepy guys, right? It's like 90% guys. This one's obviously a fake account too. That's not Usain's Bolt account. Uh, Rodney, it's not looking good. 
All right, so we've got a whole bunch of creepy guys and one girl named Frank. So, I mean, like, you guys want to act like you're surprised and upset when you, like, find out that you've been catfished and you've been sending dick pics to somebody. Um, but be real. Like, Jeff Chapman, if you're sending dick pics, you only should, you know, you can't blame anybody but yourself. Um, look at the guys, all right? These guys even look like they're the type that you don't want to, like, they look like the ones that go for these catfish profiles. They look desperate, needy, and, I mean, creepy, creepy. I mean, geez. All right, so we've gotten through the friends. There weren't that many. Now, let's get back out of there, okay, because there's some more. So you got the picture of what is going on with the friends that you definitely get all the clues. Now, the next thing that you should finally be doing if you still haven't figured out that this is a catfish profile, check out the timeline. Now, first of all, we have someone posting to her timeline pictures of themselves, which if it's your timeline, do you let your friends like post all their pictures on yours? Hell no. All right. But possibly Nasir is our catfish. Now, the thing is, the thing is, notice this too. This is what a lot of catfish profiles do is they tag a whole bunch of people. Why? I don't know, but they want attention. And so my name could very well have been on this list. Um, except I guess maybe, I don't know why I wasn't on this list, but what they do is they tag a bunch of friends and sometimes they put it in like products or just for attention and their pictures. So that's never a good look if someone else is posting pictures to their timeline of, you know, someone, not them. So next we have this clue, which is she's eating pizza, which isn't a big deal, but notice there's no likes or comments. This is impossible for a pretty girl with friends family a real account because someone will say like where'd you go you didn't invite me or how was it i've been trying to go to that place or you know so that's something now here we have like i guess december 6th is supposed to be the catfish birthday but what I, this reminds me uh if you see a whole bunch of thanks for the ad thanks for the friendship thanks for thanks for accepting my friend request that is what you get a lot of the time from a lot of these catfish timelines so that's something that i want to show you and um, again, this is Nasir posting to her wall. So Nasir is very likely our catfish. Um, and here are her profile pictures. This is a very, this is a very new profile. Let's be honest. How many people who are, what, born in 1991 is 2018. Um, she turned 27 or 26, um, in December. So how many 26 year olds do you know just started their Facebook profile? you know, in the past few months. It doesn't happen, okay? So that is, ultimately, you got all the clues, but I hope that I opened your eyes to, if, if it's not always so clear, I gave you like all sorts of places. I gave you the timeline, the friends, the quality of the friends, the number of the friends, what the friends look like, um, what's in the about section. Is someone else posting their pictures to, to the profile? Are they tagging a whole bunch of people in it? Are they having some really exaggerated uh, things in their about section? Um, you know, how many pictures do they have in their book? Uh, how many profile pictures do they have? Are there a lot of likes on there? Are there comments from people who, who know this person? Um, you know, like we have all sorts of clues. So I hope you understood that, you know, like falling for a catfish profile on Facebook, that's really your fault. But hopefully after this video, I expand your awareness so that, you know, like you are less likely to fall victim to it. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content from this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And male or female, if you're not satisfied with your dating or online dating experience, I invite you to join one or both of our free academies. We have Get Game Group Academy and Get Game Group Online Dating Academy, both of which send out free weekly videos designed to help you up your game.